Hey guys, Indulger here back again with another Fire Emblem Heroes video. This is a series I call Fun with Celica. It's been a long time since we've actually used Celica to take down an Abyssal. Today we've got Abyssal Dimitri. Uh, he's blue, but he doesn't have Disencounter, and his red is pathetic. So it's not going to be too much of a problem, although he does have Deflect Magic. Thankfully, we've got Celica with Blazing Wind, which will help a bit to whittle him down. Savage Blow as normal. This is the same kit I've been using for, I don't know, two years now. And again, one important thing to know, it doesn't really matter what kind of Celica you have. This is kind of a bad one with the minus speed here. But in, at the end of the day, it doesn't make any difference. Just need an Azura with Attack Tactic. Okay. Olivia. I don't actually didn't even check to see if these spurs even matter. Best wishes. And then, again, you could really... Use whatever dancer you want here, but I use Azura, Wings of Mercy, and the only thing I'm going to need is somebody to take this hit, have enough speed to survive a Lance Fighter, whether that's an Azura, it's up to you, but this is one of the easiest uh, clears I've ever had with Celica. She's just going to mow down this Sword Knight and get into Wings of Mercy range immediately. No problem taking down this green thief. Nobody's really running vantage here or anything crazy. These blues are the most difficult parts of the fight, as always. However, we're just going to get Celica to run away and get attack tactic for next turn. And this is all I need. Just one hit to be taken from this Lance Fighter. And, well, I guess you'd actually have to survive the follow-up from this Cleric. But it's not very strong. It's not running Wrathful. So, you should be able to survive that. And if you can survive that engagement from here, it's just whittling down this Lance Fighter. Sure. Actually, it was kind of just a waste of a Blazing Wind because this Cleric going to take zero damage. Take the Red Mage in the back line. And thankfully, Dimitri's not running yet, nor would it matter because he's not, it's not an odd turn. And that's it. So the reinforcements that appear from here are a blue Lance Knight really far away. We don't have to take care of him for a while, thankfully. And now we're just going to go right after Dimitri. We're going to leverage the fact that his res blows. Of course. We're going to hit him with that blazing wind. Okay. We're going to step back and take care of this bow fighter for a second. So that gets us in range to Azura. Actually, eh, I don't really need the speed. I think we want to do this instead. Actually, just finish Dimitri off. <laughs> I see your deflect magic and I raise you. Don't care, because you're dead. And then chip the Lance Knight a bit. I'm not going to get Azura buffs in that engagement, but that's okay. Thankfully, this is a Fire Sweep user. Of course. We can just sort of wrap this up. Let's go. Oh, I pinched myself. I didn't want to do that. But that's okay. I, I could just get a hit on that Lance Knight, but it doesn't really matter. He can't come after us. He's going to take a few hits. He's running Miracle, I think. At the end of the day, he's not going to be able to handle an assault of Celica and Three Dancers. And that is my solution with Celica and Friends. Let me know how things went for you there. I tried to enemy phase that. It's not easy, especially with the starting configuration. Celica just makes short work of that. There's really not much to that at all. So if you've got a Celica, you're having problems with this, take a look at that solution. If you have anything else that's interesting, let me know in the comments below. Or consider subscribing to my Discord until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye.